All right, y'all, this is Honeybee C, and I had to come back and hit y'all with a download that I got while I was in the bathtub talking to the Lord. The previous video was religion versus spirituality, and it was a good video, but I felt like I could have said more, but I had already uploaded it and shit, but I receive all my clarity and all my downloads in water or near water. So I was, I just got out of my little bubble bath, my little bath soak, and I was talking to the Lord and he gave me the, I guess, analogy or the breakdown of religion versus spirituality. And what came to me was like, with religion, you know, anybody can walk in the church and come to service and pick up a Bible. Anybody can get baptized. But with spirituality, you finna put in that work. And then what came to me was like, you know, anybody could walk into a church and pick up a Bible or praise God and, and all that good stuff. But are you going to have the discipline to continue to get up and do that intentionally? Not getting up because, man, it's Sunday. Let me get my black ass up and go to Sunday school. No, it's like, are you going to wake up every Sunday with the intention, like with fire up under your ass? Like, I got to go praise God today. I got to go show my gratitude. I have to go show my reverence, you know. I have to go worship for all the wonderful things that God has done in my life, you know. And I think that's the breakdown between, and the, the lighting is horrible in my house. But, um, because I'm looking at my lips, I'm like, they look black as fuck. But, um, that really is the difference between religion and spirituality. Religion is a system, you know, you get up, you come here, you do this, you do that, you pay your fare, you pay your tithes, and then you go home. But are you really getting anything out of it with, are you? Like, are you putting in the work? Is it discipline behind that? Is it intention behind you going to church every week? And that's what I feel personally what breaks down religion with spirituality. With spirituality, you're finna, you finna, you're finna be changed. I know I've been changed. You know, like, spirituality is that real connection with God. Like, are you willing to be stripped to be made new? Are you willing to surrender your life to me? Like really put your life in my hands, not worrying about no bills, not worrying about that job, not worrying about that bitch over here or that nigga over here. Are you really going to put your life, your heart into my hands so that I can protect it, provide for you? Are you willing to surrender habits people places things are you willing to be stripped of your old life so i can create in you a new life a renewed mind a renewed heart a renewed spirit are you really are you willing to feel the isolation and be in isolation as you are being made new Are you going to have the willpower and the discipline to be self-aware and realize that, hey, in order to for some for some shit to change, I'm going to have to change. Like, that's what spirituality spirituality is to me. It's yes, with religion, you go into church, you praise in God with spirituality. You, you, you may not go to church, but you're praising God, you're praising God. You know, your ancestors, your people, and all that stuff. But you really got to put in that work. To really have that full-blown connection. You feel me? Like full surrender. And most of the people in the church that I know that are Christians, they haven't fully surrendered. Yes, you getting up, going to church every thursday saturday sunday whatever days you go but you still worried about that job you still worried about what this bitch saying 
you still weren't worrying how you gonna pay your bills like oh let me go do this overtime let me go get this let me go get that instead of saying you know what god that's your job to worry about bills and to worry about this bitch over here this nigga over here you know it's my job as your child to surrender and let you take control and that's where I think the the, 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 the line is drawn. Like y'all that's in this religious mind state, you're not allowing God, you're not fully surrendering. Y'all think fully surrendering is going to church every every time that service is is in service, giving up drinking, giving up smoking, giving up cursing over oh, the women. I can't dance no more. I can't twerk no more. I can't drink no more. That's what y'all feel. Mama. Having a connection with God is. And no, having a connection with God is surrendering. So God can change your life. Religion teaches us that as soon as you come to church, get saved, get dipped in that water. Oh yeah, you can't do this no more. You can't wear that no more. You can't act like that no more. You can't talk like that no more. But... It's not even like that. Jesus didn't even go through that. Even Jesus had to go through the stages of full surrender to his father. He went through, hey man, why you choose me? Why you got me out here doing this shit? Why you ain't choose somebody else? Like, I was a carpenter. I was sitting. I was sitting up under my tree. That's my son. Making furniture. Like, why did you choose me? So, even Jesus had to go through the stages of to be Christ consciousness, to be a full surrender. So, to think that Jesus just woke up and said, all right, God, you got it. I'm finna do what you say. Stop. What? No, it wasn't like that. It wasn't like that at all. Even Jesus had to go through these steps of being stripped and, and, and fully surrendering. So I just wanted to give y'all that little download that <laughs> to have a connection with God and to really serve and to really be Christ conscious as y'all, you know, y'all religious folks say and shit to really be following God. It really takes you to surrender. It really takes you stepping outside of yourself to say, well, you know what, God, it's, it's all about you. It's not about me. I'm not living for me. I'm living for you, your glory, your victory. I'm just a vessel. Change this vessel. Mold this pound of clay into what you want it to be how you desire it to be how you have ordained this flesh and clay to be and me i do my job and i just surrender and surrendering is not easy surrendering is not easy at all but as you go through the stages of you know self-awareness self-acceptance and saying you know what this is what I really want. I want a connection with the Father. I want a connection with Source. I want to be able to have a beautiful life. Goodbye. I want to be able to have a beautiful life. I'm willing to put in that work. It's like... People can say they want to lose weight and go to the gym every year, every new year, every new year's resolution. But are you going to, anybody can go get a gym membership. Anybody can pick up a Bible. But when you open that Bible, are you reading the scriptures with intent to, to form a connection with God? That's spirituality. Or are you just reading it because pastor said read passages Luke 12 and 1 through 4. Or are you just doing it because someone told you? So, to really bring it full circle, religion 
in my opinion and in my experience is doing what man says and spirituality is doing and following what Christ says. And that's to surrender and be his child and let him work. Yes, still get up and pray with intent and 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 because everything is intention. God, God um knows your heart. So he see that you go into church. 365 days out of the, you know, 365 days. But what are your intentions? What's in your heart? Are you going to really connect with him, to worship him, to praise him? And be spiritual and have a spiritual connection with him? Or are you going just because it's Easter Sunday and we got to go? So, yeah, those are my thoughts on religion versus spirituality. I pray that you guys on this journey that you do everything with intent and know that it won't be easy, but the fact that you are have already said, hey, I want to heal, I want to be a better me uh, for myself, for my kids, but main, you know, for myself, because God is you and you are God, God is within you. So just honoring your body, your mind and your spirit is honoring God, but you got to have the discipline to get up and do it every day and with intent, not doing it because your girlfriend or your homegirl doing it, but to really get a relationship. That's why spirituality is not one size fits all. The base of it is you have a connection with the source. You have an intentional connection with God with source, with the universe, with spirit, however it resonates for you. But you gotta be willing to put in that work. You will be stripped. You will have to surrender. There will be times where it's like, God, you know, I don't know. But it's like, hey, you gonna trust me? Do you love me? Do you trust me? You got faith in me? Like I got faith in you. So yeah, this heal, the healing journey, bravos, kudos to you that you are self-aware and know that you need to heal. But keep your intentions. You feel me? Do everything with intention. Don't just jump on the bandwagon and buy cards and crystals and, 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 and beads and waist beads and start doing all this shit because you see the next person doing it follow your own heart your own intuition god will show you what you need on your journey just establish an intentional connection with him and from there he'll lead the way but you gotta allow him to lead you and you gotta surrender I'm going to leave that because I feel like I've said all I needed to say. I really wish this could have gone in the first video, but hey, messages are timeless. They'll come in the morning and, and, and with the morning dew or they'll come at night. They'll come while you're sitting on the toilet or in the bathtub. So I just had to make another video to reiterate. I felt what I said in the first video was very vague. So this is like part two on religion versus spirituality. Y'all be blessed.